night in the city. The kind of night where even the dark can't hide the crime. Mind you, that might have something to do with the fact that I've got a cat's eyes. Nothing hides from me. Anyway, like I was saying, this city is up to its eyes in filth. It's dirtier than a dog's asshole after he hasn't licked it clean in a week. And that's why this city needs me. Name's Albert. Albert Wild. I'm a private eye. I'm the cat you come to when you need justice in this town. I'm always on the prowl for the truth, for criminal scum, for a nice bowl full of milk when I get the chance. It takes a cat to balance on the thin line of the law, and I'm the best at it. I'll leave no stone unturned, no question unasked, no butt unsniffed in my hunt for justice. Unfortunately, the thing they don't tell you about being a private eye is, it doesn't exactly do a great job paying the bills. Especially when you piss off most of your clients. Not that I know anything about that. Point being, my wallet was emptier than my head after five bottles of whiskey. I needed to make a quick buck. Luckily, I knew just the guy to turn to for an easy payout. and locked off till morning. Just an empty soup can. Not even sure why I'm noticing it right now. It's like the hand of some uncaring god just made me look at it.
time to get real. All I gotta do is pick up the paper, go to the help wanted ads, and get a normal paying job. Nah, screw that. There's gotta be something more exciting in here. Hey, what's this? I'm the lucky one, not my horse. This should solve my money woes, no problem. I should give Rudy the good news. getting in here. Markets closed and locked off till morning. hazy on the details. Suppose that's why they call it a mystery. But it didn't matter. Those cool zeros were staring out at me from the page like cat's eyes in the dark after the electric bill hasn't been paid. Which reminds me, I really gotta pay my electric bill. Anyway, I wanted this case. But I wasn't gonna be anywhere near it without the say-so of the chief. 
I should head straight down to the station, meet him in the flesh, and insist on taking this case. Oh, right. They told me never to darken their doorstep again. Not sure what their problem is. It's only an official complaint or ten. Whatever, I'll call him from the office. They can't arrest me for that. Let's just hope I paid my phone bill sometime this year. Deborah's a lawyer, a damn good one. So what if she's never won a single one of my cases? I hire her every time I get sued. By case 84, we were pretty friendly. And if I want to keep it friendly, I better not mention I'm now too broke to pay her. <laughs> Someone left a note for me. like another adultery case. They're my bread, my butter, my tuna cat food. And I missed it. Damn, if I'd been here, I'd have another paying client by now. Home, sweet home. Literally, I sleep under the desk most nights. Have some fond memories of late nights at the desk. Licking my own asshole. Good times. Now, where did I put that phone? Good, there's a dial tone. They didn't cut off service yet. Now, what's that number for police headquarters? Oh, 
Must have gotten disconnected somehow. I should try again. That's right, illegal booze. In the eyes of prohibition, I'm just another criminal. Me and every other animal in this crazy messed up town. Whatever, if I'm taking down big crimes, I say I get to have a little crime as a treat. On the rocks. Let's see. Three unpaid parking tickets. Two unpaid electric bills. Final warning from gas. Eviction proceedings. Honestly, animals in this city have no patience anymore. You'd think they'd keep it cool. But no, miss your bills for five months and they get all uppity. What's the big rush? A news clipping of the first case I ever solved. I was so proud. It's really insightful and well written for an obituary. My diploma, proof of my biggest accomplishment. So much blood, sweat, and tears. But now, there it is, Albert Wilde, graduate of Paw Prince Elementary School. My trusty flashlight, a real light in the dark of this city. Plus, it's super handy for those times I forgot to pay the electric bill. I'd better bring it along. A detective needs to be prepared. Besides, seems like the kind of thing some jerk insists I have handy for a puzzle later. Look, a cat has certain needs. Needs he can only satisfy with a box full of sand. Even a private eye has got to take a leak somewhere. And the landlord complained when I used the wall. I get a lot of hard work done in this office. And by hard work, I mean working on my high score.
better not bother her again. She's got a job to do. Just like me, but for actual money. Second time's the charm. Come on, pick up. Six of my nipples are tingling. It was a close thing, me taking this case. But it'd be rude to say no when the goddamn chief of police is begging you to help solve it. Not that he put it that way, but I could tell. He's probably intimidated by my skills, by my dedication to justice, by the fact that I'm a cat and he's a mouse. At any rate, this case sounded like one of the weird ones. The body, it ain't normal. But then, what is normal in this jungle city of ours? That was deep. I should write that one down. 
This case had me heading to an abandoned warehouse, the scene of the crime. I stepped out of the car and took a deep whiff of the night air, then regretted it right away. The warehouse district isn't exactly all spring flowers. I took in the scene with my keen observational skills. Yep, looked like a warehouse all right. Officer Betty should have known she'd be on the scene. She likes to make out that she's all badge, but I know the truth. She's all doe eyes and hind legs and madly in love with me.
not see. No blood, no sign of injury. No burns or charred fur. He's just dead. Wait a minute. Why is it so small? The arms and legs. What is up with this body? Yeah, sucks. Whatever. The really big mystery is who or what this cat is. Where the hell do you see a cat this small in this city? The hospital kitty unity ward? And those arms, legs, limbs? It's like a Mew Andrethal cave painting. Never mind that. What is up with this body's head? Those perky ears? That handsome face? I'd know it anywhere. It's my face. I mean, 99% my face. There's a few differences, but my face. Wow. Wow. 
I go way back. Nobody denies we've got a special connection. Well, nobody but her and her giant rhino of a husband, I suppose.
time to make like a strapping young turtle with ninjutsu training and open this. All right, let's turn this baby on. No, not that button. Not that button. Not that. Uh, this flashlight has only one button. Great, now I can see what I'm smelling. You know what? Ignorance was bliss. All right, Albert, you're on the case. Gotta be something from the culprit down here. broken, like it's missing a part. Maybe it's around here somewhere. I think I know where this might go. This would be the tears turf. Just my luck. This city has a filthy underbelly. Literally. A seedy underworld of underground crime. A seedy underworld of underground crime. That's underground. There's a lot of gangs running things in this city. Smuggling, bootlegging, jaywalking, you name it. And they run it all from down here. Privacy, easy movement, storage space, and no one notices if you don't shower. They all have their own little enclaves and tunnel networks. And guess which one I just walked into? The Crocodile Tear Gang. The nastiest two-faced criminal scum down here. I'd better be careful, or I'll be the one crying real tears. That's another good one. I need to make notes on these.